Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here to share a design team project with you. Um, as some of you know, I'm guest designing for Natasha and her store is Natasha's Scrapbook Corner on Zibit and I am guest designing for the month of February. This is my second design team video and I wanted to share it with everyone. And before I start, let me just say that I will put uh, the link to Natasha's store in the description box and please go over and check it out if you haven't already because she puts new things in um, if not daily then weekly so let's get started um, as you know if you watch my last video I mainly um, requested embellishments from uh, for my design team package I wanted to play with some different um, things that Natasha had in her store and one of them were these beautiful um, rhinestone button type of pieces and I used them to make a couple of different rings uh, I found the ring shanks on it was either Zibit or Etsy and just to show you how easy it is to do. Uh, I just used hot glue for the purposes of the video, but if you want something more permanent, E6000 would be much better to use, and then you'd be less likely to have it eventually come off. So I used the simple silver ring shank, and it just looks so blingy. <laughs> And everybody that knows me knows I love my bling. So this one is a uh, filigree, and they're adjustable. So you can put them on whatever finger you want. And I thought it looked beautiful in the filigree, too. So these are just fun to have in my, um, in my ring box to play with when I want to. So I did those, too, and then... This here, this uh, crocheted flower, which is gorgeous and so soft uh, in black. And it's got, um, I think it's like Angora in the middle. I mean, it is so soft. And again, I put another one of those um, rhinestone pieces in the middle of the flower just to bring the shape out in that. And the reason I could do that is because I think Natasha sells them um, 10 to a pack, 8 or 10, something like that. And so you get a lot for your money. Um, and this is actually a hair clip. I made it into a hair clip and I added this pearl and uh, silver piece onto the clip to make it um, a little formal. And sometimes I wear a braid on the side and this goes perfectly. And if you want it to be less formal, I put it on this pin and I can take the pin off because it's just um, it's just over that hair clip piece. So I can take it off and I see you have a less formal hair clip. So, but I do love it with the uh, dangly pearls. I think, whoops, sorry, wrong side. I do think it looks so beautiful. There we go. And then, last but not least, I made this uh, flower. And I used a doily in the back. I added this pink dangle trim that Natasha has. And I love the shade of it. And then I used some of my black lace in on top of the doily. And this um, organza that's got little sparklies in it. I got them both at uh, Joann's and I used um, the tutorial that uh, Trisha put up quite a while ago. Um, a little shabby chic. Hi Trish! Uh, her different flowers that she uses the squares and turns them into kind of triangles and I love that tutorial and so I use it quite a bit when I'm making my flowers and I put a little heart from one of the trims Natasha sent me and then this metal piece is also part of my design team kit and I love this metal flower 
um, I just added these little AB stones and then the um, clay flower that Natasha has also in her store and I just thought it brought out the design of the flower and I love how it came out I'm really happy with this one. Oh, and also um, this wasn't part of my package but I, this was part of a small haul that I made from uh, Natasha's store and I love these metal dangles and look at on the bottom if you saw my haul video then you saw them and I just love how they look so I wanted to add that to the flower too so that's it these are my pieces um, if you'd like leave a comment let me know what you think and um, like I said please go take a look at Natasha's store she has some amazing pieces in there and I will see you all again soon with another video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.